Hey everybody, Teresa here from Inspiration Cards and welcome to the next round of my Stampin' Jammies online card class for March. This month the cards that we'll be making are going to feature the sweet ice cream stamp set from the January to June mini catalog. I've been having a lot of fun creating with this stamp set and I'm excited to share this month's projects with you. So let's get started. So here's our first card using the Sweet Ice Cream stamp set. The ink color that comes with this month's kit is Bermuda Bay, so you'll notice that a lot in all of the projects. There will be a few other colors. Uh, so this week for the popsicle stick, I've got some cinnamon cider along with some crumb cake, although you can use just the cinnamon cider if you like. For this card, I'm also using a little bit of the Hydrangea Hill Mercury Acetate Sheets. These are really cool and add a really nice effect to the card. So what you'll need is one large piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock for your card base. Then you'll also have two larger pieces of basic white cardstock. One piece of the Hydrangea Hill Mercury Acetate. And then you'll have two smaller pieces of basic white, one just a little bit bigger than the other. So to start us off, I'm just going to fold the Bermuda Bay cardstock in half. So this will be your card base. I'm just gonna give it a nice crisp fold with my bone folder. And I'm gonna set that aside. And the first piece of large whisper white, or I should say basic white, is going to go on the inside of our card base. And I'm just going to add a little something in the bottom corner. So I'm going to grab the sprinkles stamp set. And I'm going to just crack open my Bermuda Bay ink pad here. And then just gently tap my stamp onto the ink pad. And then just going to set that right in the corner. And I'm going to give that just a couple of seconds just to soak in there. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to set this aside and bring in my other piece of whisper of basic white. So this is the other large piece of basic white. And this, on this piece, I'm going to create a bit of a background using the, if you want to call them the sprinkles, or if you want to just call it kind of a splatter image. So it's a series of dots. And with the Bermuda Bay ink pad, I'm just going to stamp this randomly. around the cardstock. And every once in a while, I'm just gonna rotate the image a little bit, just to switch up the designs a bit. And it's okay if you stamp off. It helps give a little bit more variety to the images. And you don't want to get too close to the center, of course, because that's where our mercury acetate and other images are going to go. So there we go. And I'm going to set that off to the side. And I'm going to grab the larger of the two smaller pieces of basic white cardstock. And I'm going to start with our, the bottom half of our popsicle. So that's going to be this piece here. There you go. Just squish that onto your block. Make sure it's nice and covered. And 
And you do want to leave room for your popsicle stick. There we go. So I'm going to peel that off so we can get to the top half of our popsicle, which looks like this here. There we go. And again, it's going to squish that on top just like that. Now, if you want, you can stamp off first onto a scrap piece of paper before you cover it up. I'm actually going to straight stamp on here. There we go. I'm just going to close this up for now so I don't end up sticking my finger in it. And we'll switch to our popsicle stick. So for the outline, I'm going to use cinnamon cider. And then we've got the outline of our popsicle stick right there. Now I'm actually not going to ink the whole popsicle stick because that's actually quite large. So I'm just going to leave a little bit off the edge when I'm inking it up. There we go. And if you want, you can actually fill it in with cinnamon cider. I'm going to fill mine in with crumb cake. Just so that way you can see the contrast, you can see the outline much better. You could also do that by stamping off with your cinnamon cider. All right, so I'm gonna get lots of ink on my popsicle stick image and just gonna stick that right in the center of my outline just like that. And while I give that a minute to dry, I'm going to grab our other piece of basic white cardstock. So this is the smallest piece and you'll want your Bermuda Bay ink pad one more time. And you can pick whichever phrase you like. I'm actually going to go with a thank you again. I don't know about you, but I find I'm in need of a lot of thank you cards these days. So it's always nice to have a stash on hand. So there we go. And just give that a second to have the ink transfer. Give that a little pull. There we go. And that's it for our stamping. I'm going to close that up and grab our other pieces so we can get sticking. All right, so here's our card base again. And here is the first piece that we stamped. So this is going to go on the inside. So I'm just going to use my stamp and seal. You can use whatever tape runner or adhesive you prefer to use. right in the center on the inside of my Barbina May card base. There we go. And then of course, here's our little background. go. 
So center that as best you can on the outside of your Bermuda Make card base. And then next up is our mercury acetate sheet. And so that's just gonna get layered on a bit of an angle in the center of your card. And this, you don't have to worry about the, the adhesive showing through too much. You do wanna be a little strategic with your, with your adhesive though. So I'm just putting it in, in, in places where there's less of the, the bubbles, the see-through part. There we go. So that's just gonna go right there. And then for our popsicle and for our phrase, I'm gonna use some dimensionals to attach these. So I'm gonna add the thank you first. I'm just gonna stick all the dimensionals on the back. And just peel off the paper. Here we go. And this is gonna go down here in the corner. There we go. And for our popsicle, two should also do the trick. You could always add a little bit more if you like, but because this piece of cardstock isn't very big, two should work out just fine. And that's gonna go here on just a bit of a, an opposite angle to my acetate sheet. And there we go. There is our first card for this month's Stampin' Jammies online card class. Now, if you're looking for other ideas with this stamp set, this is one here that I created using the, uh, using the designer series paper as well as the sweet ice cream stamp set. It's a cute and easy little fun fold and you actually can get the project sheet to make this card with this, with this designer series paper or any designer series paper that you wanna swap in if you sign up for my weekly email newsletter. So I hope you'll check that out. I hope you like this week's cards and I'll be back next week to share another card using the Sweet Ice Cream stamp set. And remember, if you want to get your hands on the free project sheet that goes with the second card that I showed in today's video, then you'll want to head over to my blog at inspirationcards.com and check out the contact me page so you can fill in the form to sign up for my weekly email newsletter and I will be happy to email off that project sheet for you. And remember, if you have any questions about Stampin' Up! or Paper Pumpkin or just rubber stamping and paper crafting in general, I'm happy to answer your questions. So you can email me at inspirationwithteresa at gmail.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.